Hey everybody, just a quick video putting the performance of the RTX 3080, the newly launched card that you can... Oh, uh, ignore the picture, ignore the picture. A realistic view of its performance over the last generations. Comment section will be mental. Performance, let's look at this. Well, I got a few numbers from Gamers Nexus, uh, some reviews, but this is not from a huge amount of benchmarks and we're talking more about the concept of how, what you expect each generation and how you can look at it rather than the exact value these are the averages of some uh, reviews of jesus uh, sorry steve what you expect here is to see this, this this curvature because every generation you expect not to be the same frame rate difference like 20 fps added each year no this has to be like a factor like 1.6 what i've plotted here uh, each generation you expect that to be 1.6 times, for example, quicker than the last generation. So you get that curvature. And here, plotting the actual, uh, like I said, from limited reviews and limited game benchmarks, but still, you know, concept. It's about the concept. You see this curvature, yeah, it kind of exists. Um, and it's sort of equal to a 1.6x generational improvement not exceptional it's sort of what you expect this to be a curve like this you can also see that initially from the 980 to the 1080 we we're a bit ahead even of the 1.6x but then to the 2080 it's even a super even the super wasn't good enough to bring us back to shape and then the 3080 is a steeper increase uh, but it's still not quite not quite with the curve of 1.6x generational gain so performance gain kind of normal, kind of average over the last few generations, right? So that's not spectacular. It's, it's kind of expected. Um, another thing to look at is, oh my God, it's not more expensive yet. It's more powerful. Well, that's normal. MSRP. Well, what about plotting it against inflation, which I've set to 2%. It's just a rough indication, right? This is not about the exact numbers. It's about the concept. And we saw that the, 80 generations or the 80 performance tier cards got more expensive quite a bit actually with the 2080 so even though they kept the price the same from the 2080 super and 2080 they were same msrp with the new newest one same msrp but you can see the price increase went way quicker than the average inflation here so even yes they kept the price the same but it's actually you know they they went ahead of uh, realistic sort of inflational uh, in, uh, increase so yeah it's the same price but actually it's too expensive if you would continue this trend just just something to look at really price performance gets quite a big hit um, so i'm plotting this 1.6x again as sort of the expected because if you keep the price the same and you have that roughly 1.6x performance gain you would expect the price to performance uh, from per dollar to say the same as well however it doesn't really because it got a lot more expensive so your value uh, after the 1080 is lagging behind that sort of what you would hope to expect so this is not great either yes it's not you know this is terrible towards the 2080 it's the the the, the steepness of the line is improved but we're really not where we were if we would continue the trend from the 980 to the 1080 so even price performance uh, sorry price per dollar isn't that amazing uh, another thing to look at is the tdp and, and this is not plotted against anything else this normalized tdp reason is that's just a practical limit to how hot how much heat you can make a graphics card output well, theoretically, there probably isn't really a limit, but in a case with a power supply and cooling, uh, it's sort of cheating if you increase the TDP, because at some point you cannot go that much higher than three, four, five hundred watt. You get like a, an enormous graphics card and you need your own nuclear power plant. It's all very impractical. So the TDP going up has downsides for bigger cards, uh, more power draw uh, costs you a little bit each year. Uh, more noise or very big coolers big water coolers whatever so it has downsides and it's kind of cheating if the performance goes up the same uh, amount as the tdp it's kind of cheating so performance per watt then uh, this is quite shocking actually in a way but let's see what, what what's happen, uh, happening here 
this 1.6 sex sorry freudian <laughs> don't blame me i'm, I'm only human 1.6x uh, gain that we've seen before now why do i plot it here well imagine if the tdp stays the same uh, because that's something you can sustain you cannot sustain ever increasing tdp so let's sustain the tdp at the same value then you would actually get this dotted line for your performance per watt but uh, it's not that great because the performance isn't quite following the same uh, trend as this and the power draw has increased quite a lot so you can see that the performance per watt is actually in in this way and again these are just based off a few numbers and just it's more about the concept of thinking sort of broadly and not getting stuck into the hype right so we're trailing behind a lot or you could say the 980 to the 1080 was a really good step up in in performance per watt so whichever way you look at it uh, it's not that great and again few data points we'd like to predict future cards and have more cards here to see anything but you know think about the concept so just a couple of things to put it in perspective really with the power of, of spreadsheets it's the, it's a good card of course it's a lot quicker uh, but you kind of expect that it's not that special and it's still very expensive compared to where you would be if we just looked at the inflation and what these performance tier cards cost a while ago um, one last thing though some people said mind blown performance is the same oh again this is not freudian this is just stupid uh, price is the same and performance is more better great i did some some advanced spreadsheet skills here so if price was proportional to performance then the voodoo 2 at around 300 euros and i found some numbers that are probably not reliable but you know it's just a stupid test here your rtx 2080 that's not a ti that's not a super uh, would cost 100 million euros and that's not even with inflation actually hmm more than 100 million euros if a voodoo 2 costs 300 euros right so again some of the hypes seem to sort of have lost the plot a little bit and price price should not be proportional to performance over the years because otherwise things become unaffordable right so just a few sort of calm down stay down chill out looks at graphics card performance over the years um sorry i'm just sort of practicing my ducking skills for all the rotten fruit that's about to come my way in the comment section bye bye guys